Hello, we're here at the Fall Paducah Quilt Week show, and I'm with another winner. This is Cheryl C. from Ashburn, Virginia, uh -huh. and you're not a, a, you you have won with us before. Yes, I have. With the Hand Quilted Award, correct? Yes, I have with two quilts. Two quilts. Well, this is another beauty, and I know everybody's going to want to know a little bit about what you did to make this quilt. So let's just start about the design first. Okay. Well, I wanted to make a Hawaiian quilt. I didn't feel like um, a lot of Hawaiian quilts were always in the shows, and I think they're beautiful quilts, but I think we know what to expect in it, that it's going to be a chunkier design with florals and sea life, and then it's going to have echo quilting and little or no embroidery. And so I like to make more innovative quilts, and I wanted to make a more intricate applique design and do uh, innovative free motion hand quilting, since I do everything by hand, and really add a lot of embroidery to the quilt to um, add different layers to my art. Well, and I know that you called this Hawaiian improv, and so does that mean when you did your pattern, you folded your paper up and just did a pattern for a part of it? Um, it is designed in eighths, just like a, a traditional Hawaiian quilt, but I didn't cut it in a traditional matter because the quilt would have fallen apart. It was too detailed, so it's more a cut and, and needle turn as you go. This was one layer of black fabric that was laid over one layer of beige fabric, and that's all you saw until I slowly cut that away. Wow, so you did both applique and reverse applique? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, well, talk about the details because I think that's really what sets this quilt apart. Oh, thank you. I love sharing all the little <laughs> details with everybody. So this um, entire quilt is a, a town, a fictitious town, not necessarily one that I've lived in. The center of my town has a English country garden and it has stuffed hedges made out of Hobbs wool batting. Uh, I used a little bit of my great-grandmother's hand-tatted lace in the center of the garden. That is the only part that I didn't do myself, obviously. <laughs> uh, inside that, I have um, bullion stitch roses that have been hand-embroidered. And then I have a bunch of hundreds of little knots. These are colonial knots that form flowers and echo quilted paths around all the flower beds. Uh, this is um, brick pavers and a brick path that surrounds the entire garden. I have um, little blades of grass and wildflowers, including forget-me-nots. <laughs> In the fountain here, I've used silver thread to mimic the water coming out of the fountain. And then there are six different varieties of birds everywhere. This one is on top of a birdhouse, and there's a little bird's nest in the tree. There's leaves that come out of the trees in different colored threads. On my park bench here, I have a little spider and spider web that's hiding <laughs> underneath and a rose that's been laying on the bench, some scroll work. And so this looks like you used a metallic thread. I used metallic thread for that. Mm -hmm. And my topiary trees have some berries or knots in them. Uh, my park is surrounded by a fence. This part of the fence has an arch that has flowers growing around that. And then my, one of my favorite parts is the wisteria growing <laughs> on this part of the fence next to the wrought iron gate. My favorite little birdie here is next to some pussy willows. And these little townhouses have flower boxes and some of the doors appear like they will open. All of the houses are connected to little cobblestone paths and you'll see some embroidered dogs that are running across the paths and also some little signposts that tell you where to find things in the quilt, like the school, or I'm gonna move over to the southwest part of the quilt. There's a signpost down there that says, go to the dentist, and there is a tooth above the door, and that's because I'm a full-time dental hygienist, and my boss thinks a tooth needs to be in my last five quilts. In every quilt, right? In every quilt. <laughs> On the bridge, I have a truck and a car, and the churches have stained glass windows, and behind my church, of course, is a graveyard. What you don't expect is that there's two ghosts that are popping out of the graves. <laughs> and sometimes I think I want to name some of these gravestones. <laughs> this light has gold thread that comes out mimicking the light, a little bird, some blades of grass. This is my school, so I have a school bell and a flag, uh, a house that has shutters that open and a ladder leaning against it. This house has a little dog house and laundry hanging from the line. And there's a little kitty cat in this window. 
This is the north part of the quilt. In the south part, this house would be upside down, and so I decided not to put a cat because he would get a headache. Yes. Right. I have drapes in the windows, <laughs> a little birdhouse, and a swing. Okay, so let's go to the corners. Yes. Uh, and so just point to this one so that they, okay. they can get a really good picture. Okay. And In the corners beyond the town, I have the suburbs. And that is quilted houses and fences and nature trails and trees. And then beyond the suburbs is the farmer's fields. And those are all um, embroidered vegetation, including little cabbages. <laughs> yes. Well, and I guess what we didn't say is this is in the hand quilted quilts category yes. for the large size quilt, and that's sponsored by Flynn Quilt Frame Company. Yes. And of course, John you Flynn. know, he does a lot of hand quilting himself, too, so this is a good category. Yes, he does. Well, and your quilting is beautiful. Everybody, when they come to the show, you need to look at this up close because yes. there are many more details than we've just covered here, um, but it is exquisite. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Well, and are you working on another piece? Of course I am. I always have <laughs> one that's stuck at the house and one that's uh, traveling, and so usually it's applique and paper piece. So okay. yes, I have two going on. So the entire quilt has been made by hand. Yes. And you're the first place winner in the hand quilted category. Yes, thank you so much. All right, and so we'd like to see some entries from you. So go to the quiltweek.com website, click on the contest. The rules for 2018 are already up there. We hope we'll see you next time.